What if you dug a hole through the earth? What would it take? How fast could you travel to the other side of the earth? How deep have we made it already? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you dug a hole through the earth. We all heard the rumor as kids that tunneling through the earth would take us to the other side of the world. Sorry to crush your dreams, it doesn't really work that way. Most people would end up in the middle of an ocean if they tried digging through the earth. It may work in some places. If you lived in Beijing, then you'd surface in Argentina. And from Madrid, it's a direct route to New Zealand. But how far would you get? If you could dig a tunnel through the earth, it would be 7,918 miles long. And if you jumped right in, it would only take you 45 minutes to reach the opposite side of the earth. Of course, in all the excitement, you might forget to grab onto something once you popped out, at which point you'd fall right back to where you started. So far, human digging has only made it 0.1% of the way through the earth. In the 70s and 80s, the Soviets attempted to drill as deep as they could into the earth's crust. They made it down 40,230 feet before temperatures of 570 degrees melted their equipment. But with a magic shovel, a super heat resistant suit, and some special boots to hold your footing on molten rock, you might fare a little better. The Earth's interior is composed of four layers. The outermost shell is called the crust, which runs about 30 miles deep. And for every 0.6 miles of depth, the temperature goes up 77 degrees. The average human would suffer hyperthermia after the first mile. But since you're so well equipped, you get to dig down to the mantle. Digging through this layer would be a particular challenge, since it makes up over 80% of our planet's volume, and it's all hot liquid rock. Also known as the asthenosphere, this layer is responsible for tectonic plate movement, and it's the reason why we have mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Not only would it be a sluggish task to dig through thousands of miles of molten rock, you may have to dodge a shifting continent in the process. Eventually, you'll make it to the cooler layer, an ironic descriptor, since the temperatures at Earth's outer core range between 7200 and 9000 degrees. This layer won't be any easier to get through than the mantle, since it's a shell of liquid iron. But try not to do too much damage with your digging. The outer core gives our planet its magnetic field, and we can't live without it. Finally, you get to the inner core, and it's probably where you should consider ending your journey. We're not quitters at What If, but we do care about your well-being. And take our word for it, digging through the Earth's core would not be fun. The inner core is essentially a large white-hot ball of solid iron and nickel. It's solid because the pressure from 3,218 miles below the Earth's surface is so great it prevents the iron from melting. So with every scoop of your shovel, the liquid iron from the outer core would simply fill in the empty gaps and solidify. In order to make it through, you'd have to work much faster than is humanly possible. But that's no challenge here. The challenge, however, might be mastering the floating dig. With a significant amount of the Earth's mass above you countering the force of gravity from the rest of the world, you'd be rendered completely weightless. Hence, the floating dig. But with unlimited time, anything is possible. And somehow you make it through the core. Your journey out of the center of the Earth would be even harder, since gravity would be pulling you backwards the whole way through. When you finally break ground on the opposite end of the Earth, assuming you don't surface in the middle of an ocean, then you better be satisfied because the way back would certainly be closed. So that's one way to travel, and we mean one way literally. Please do not try this at home. If you want to travel across the world, buy a piggy bank. Save your lucky pennies and someday you'll get there. It may take longer than 45 minutes, but don't let that stop you from dreaming. Stay curious, keep asking questions, and of course, we'll keep digging for you.